I always felt like I could rap, so I felt like I could do it type shit. But I would have to learn how to make a song. What really made me go like full, like serious, want to be a rapper? I was like rapping and dropping like little shit in the city, and it was going up. But then like. You know, the little buzz ain't really nothing. Like, people just like your raps. But then when I went to the mall, like, it's a, it's a mall in Baltimore, like, called Towson Mall and shit. So I went to the mall, and I had walked down one store, and this little, and this little girl had walked out the other store. And she just started crying and shit, wanted to take a picture with a nigga. And I'm like, damn. Oh, this, I could really take this shit a different level. You feel me? If you got that type of inspiration on people, or you got that type of effect, whereas though, where that look, whereas though, people is willing to, be influenced off of you, yeah, you gotta, you gotta do something with it. If you don't, you're a fool. I mean, like, influence is like, just niggas, I, I said the Chicago shit, cause like, you know, that's like my age range and shit, like, whereas though, I'm, the niggas that's rapping is the same age as me, and I'm just looking like, damn, niggas be going through the same type of shit, you feel me? So, just relatable shit, like, niggas used to listen to Gotti, Gucci, Jeezy, niggas used to listen to all the fucking niggas, all the niggas who's talking about shit that, Niggas actually doing this shit type shit because this is this one of them cities where niggas is doing that shit that they rapping about. Even if they not doing the shit they rapping about, we could listen to the music and fuck with it. We might lose our fucking neighborhood hero when you meet them and shit and find out they're bitch ass nigga, but that's just come with it. And I and don't ask me who the bitch ass niggas is because I ain't saying no names. But niggas just don't be what they be saying in their music. Not even a business side like. The business is always muddy. Like you gotta under, you gotta separate that. But when you meet niggas personally, and it's not even on no business shit, you just realize like you know somebody who really is a genuine person and never portrayed to be something they not. That's like that's a real nigga to me type shit. So it's like I didn't put, you ain't never pretend you stand on your word. That's I fuck with you. When you meet these niggas and you you just look at them and you see the way they moving and the way they act. That's what I'm talking about. Like, damn, are you really a bitch? How is you even rapping what you be rapping? What your man told you about that shit? What your man just told you, oh, say this, because that shit is how I rock? Because you a bitch for real. Like, that shit, I'm just, it be old. Like, me, like, T. Herbal been my favorite rapper and shit, because even though, like, he did in the same age as me, he been my favorite rapper because I felt like what he was rapping about niggas going through the same type of shit. So if I always connected to it on that level. And, like, whenever I meet him or or get a chance to have a conversation with him. It's always genuine and shit. So it's like, I get to tell him, like, I ain't no fake-ass nigga. Like, if I liked your music, before I met you, I'm not about to walk up like, yo, what's up? I'm gonna be like, what's up? I fuck with you. I fuck with your music. But I, I don't got I don't got them type of pride issues where like, I can't let a nigga know I fuck with him. But another one is like, Gucci, like, that nigga, like, I always liked his music, loved his music growing up. I loved the way that he supported other people. And, you know, he... He motherfucking um, DM me and shit, um, saying he wanted to fuck with me on the music shit, like just like give me a feature and shit, and just him doing that with me, let me know that this not no shit that was for show. Like he really just looked, got his eye on people, and if he fuck with you, he gonna show love. So, and then I went to his like release party and shit, and he let me you know come in the section, stand with them and shit. Shit was cool, like he a real nigga. That's one of the niggas that I could say that I met that wasn't on no flaw shit. Um, I don't know. I never was really into into um producers. Like I knew they they did a body behind the work, but I never really like I thought producers were just people that sit in the house and make beats and send them. But then I started meeting some producers that's actually cool. But like I kinda prefer to work with people that I got a connection with where though we can go in the studio and he know what I'm vibing with or he know like this what you'll fuck with boom or is not scared to take me out my comfort zone to get me better than what I am type shit. So I usually just be talking with my man Pirate, people from Baltimore shit. And he hard, uh, he go in the studio. We went to the same high school. So it's like we already been, you know, knowing each other and shit. Yeah, exactly. Whatever like whatever I'm feeling and shit, that's what I was like. Sometimes I might be going through something like I lost somebody or I'm thinking about somebody that I lost. I wanna go in there and talk about that. I wanna hear some beats that relate to that or I might be turned up to their lives and drunk some drinks had a good day made some money I might want to go in there and talk about some flashy shit or I just might be on some whole gang shit with the gang and go in there I want to make some gang shit so it's whatever's going on at the time you gotta be versatile if you produce it for me uh, I just need liquor and black and miles yeah liquor and black and miles 
I don't really care. I don't really care if it's light or brown. Just make sure it's some good liquor. Black and mild. I don't like the all the you know, like I buy expensive liquor when I'm just trying to be fancy and shit sit in the house and feel good. But I need that liquor lot. Like, I need Hennessy, Patron and shit. I'm gonna feel in my chest type shit. Get me in there. And the black and mild to when that shit start going away, you hit the black and mild, that shit push you right back where you was. That shit had me good. <laughs>